and you like you were looking at them like, you know what? The Cowboys might be on to something. The Cow mm -hmm. Because we thought a lot of people, I wasn't the only one that thought the Giants were going to win this division, but a lot of people a lot of people picked the Giants to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. Some so did. that looked like a very impressive win. It sure okay. did. Okay. 19-3 Cowboys win. Dak does what he does, take care of the football. Zeke runs the football. Woo! Everybody, whoop de doo wow. Everybody going out, getting popcorn and cracker jack. Mm -hmm. Take me out to the ball game. Got to see the Cowboys. They go on the road to Denver. They get shellac. Now, I gave you the blueprint of what they're going to do. I already yeah, knew you, what they're You called it. <laughs> you, you, call, you said 42 to 17. Skip. I remember. Last time. I, marked, I wrote your score down, 42 to 17. In, in 1998, mm. they were on that very field. Yeah. And the Broncos hung 42 on them. Yeah. But they did get to 23 that day. History repeated. Yep. yep. But here's the thing. And I said, now, if you take Zeke away mm -hmm. and you force Dak to beat you, mm -hmm. if Dak can throw the ball for 350 yards, two or three touchdowns, you walk to the middle of the field and you shake his hand. So they were blown out on the road mm -hmm. against a good team. And then we see the Giants on Monday night. And so when people are like, hold on, wait a minute. I know what we thought the Giants were going to be, and we heard Ben McAdoo say they're not the only good team that's 0-2. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. We'll, maybe we'll talk about that later, Skip. So when the when the when the rankings, when you look at it, the Giants is not are not as good as we thought, and maybe we overvalue the uh, uh, the the Cowboys because they go on the road and they play Trevor Simeon because you know you ain't got no respect for Trevor Simeon. He's still Trevor Simeon, seventh round draft pick. Mm -hmm. There's no way. I'm picking Trevor Simeon over Dak Prescott. I'm just echoing Shannon Sharp. No, don't do that. Don't do that, Skip. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. No. no. We're echoing. Mm -hmm. We got the break speed off. Mm -hmm. We got the break speed off. Yeah. Got the break speed off. So, 15th is a very good spot for mm -hmm. them, Skip. Because, okay, let me ask you this. 15th is, they're only 32. So, that's kind of like middle of the pack, but right? What What are we? They play the bad Giants team, mm -hmm. they win. They play a good Giant, a Broncos team, they get blown out. So do we really know two games into the season what they really are? Okay. But this is what I love about the rankings, Skip. You get an opportunity on Sunday or Monday night to move up or down. You could burden the hand, Skip. Yeah. Only. What's going on with this burden in my hand, Skip? Mm -hmm. Only you know. Mm. Now you can control it. Oh, are you a magician? <laughs> <laughs> so, Cowboys, if you don't like your ranking, Skip, if you don't like the Cowboys ranking, tell them to do something about it. Oh, they will. They're, they're about to start. So, so what should they be after they go one and two? They're not going to go one and two. So are you finished? <laughs> I'm done. This is all-time laughable week two overreaction by the Cowboy-hating media. <laughs> and as Tech Schramm, the great Tech Schramm, the founder of the Dallas Cowboys, as we know and love them, once said, they want the media wants to see us lose, but they don't want us to go away because everybody loves to talk about the Dallas Cowboys. So right now they're going away all the way down to 15. And the truth is last week they were fifth in this power ranking, and they should have been higher than fifth last week because that was an extremely impressive psychological hurdle that they got over on opening Sunday night at Jerry World. Okay. That was their nemesis. That's the team that had their number twice last year. And they didn't just beat them. They demolished them even worse than they got demolished at no, Denver. No, no, skill. Yes. A Giants team in 22 drives, mm -hmm. one touchdown, two field goals. And you're proud of that. And you're saying they should have been higher ranked I, I am that? I am proud of that. And by the way, they went on to Denver favored. By the two. odds makers yeah. favored them to win at Denver. At Denver, where Tom Brady's three and seven? Are you kidding me? So that happened. They did not show up mentally or physically, and they got whipped mentally and physically. And I give you that, and I can't defend it because it happens. It happened to Tom Brady when they went to Kansas City early in the 2014 season. It even happened to Tom Brady on opening Thursday night at home in the fourth quarter when he lost to Kansas City 21 to nothing. It happens and yet in the end i look at now the teams ranked above them just in the nfc i'm going to talk about the falcons in just a moment i'll, I'll give you the falcons over the cowboys right now but i won't give you green bay over the cowboys green they're bay. seventh tampa bay i won't give you over dallas seattle. i won't give you seattle over seattle. dallas with that offense your super bowl winning with your hit. defense wow with wow. your defense and then detroit really you have no respect for detroit they're 10. two and oh okay and carolina at 13 above the 15th ranked dallas cowboys Go i'm carolina. sorry that will all start changing quickly because the Cowboys will win. It won't be easy, but they will win at Arizona. Then they will go home and beat the Los Angeles Rams. 
and I believe they got a real good shot against the Green Bay defense that is no better than it was last year. Well, I think they have a chance at Jerry World to beat, to, to get revenge over Green Bay, just the way they got revenge over the Giants. Did you see what Trevor Simeon did? Yeah, so what? What do you think Aaron Rodgers is going to do? Okay, so back to my defense. If, if you want to rank them 15th just because they're decimated at cornerback, I, I have to give that up to you because I told you my best defensive back was Orlando Scandry. He missed the game with a broken hand in Denver, and it was a killer. And I told you on air last week, I said, I'm afraid about that. Nolan Carroll, I'm not the biggest fan of, but at least he started 54 games for the Eagles, and he went into concussion protocol late in the first quarter after he didn't show up anyway, so it really didn't matter. But he's out probably for the next game. You see Brandon Carr? Wow. Brandon Carr had him two picks yeah. on Sunday. Okay, well, you hate him. You call him used car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mo Claiburn, Brandon Carr, oh, but, but six of one, half dozen of the other. But here's the thing. As bad as they were, and they were awful at times, they kept Jerry Brown on the bench. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why Jeff Heath could not start mm. over Wilcox and, and Church. Mm. But all of a sudden, he gets out there, and you get mad at him because he's CJ put the move on, put the open. Yeah. Up. So who have I raved about through the preseason? Shadobi Awuzie, and he immediately pulls his hamstring in the first quarter, and he's gone. Yeah. And that leaves me Jordan Lewis, uh, another rookie who missed the entire preseason with a must have been a torn hamstring, missed game one with the same hamstring, and gets thrown into the orange fire at mile high in his first ever NFL game of, of preseason or regular season. I tried. Really. I tried to prepare you wow. prepare you for this, Skip. I said you're asking an awful lot of rookies mm. to come in and contribute heavy yeah, minutes. But, but even if they're just nickel corners, that they had to be starting quarterback corners all the time. So. You and Jerry and the Cowboys faithful were thinking that you were gonna strike lightning was gonna strike twice. You're gonna get the same kind of production out of this rookie class mm -hmm. as you got out of Zach and Deke. Yeah. Zeke. And I mm. told you it was not going to happen. They're but hurt. Your head they're hard, all Skip. hurt. Everybody's hurt. Anthony Hitchens had a great camp, and he's out. And they have to throw Jalen Smith in, and he's not ready yet. He's not moving like Jalen Smith moved at Notre Dame before that horrendous injury. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm decimated. Byron Jones. I didn't even know if he was going to play with a pull groin, and he tried to play, and he didn't look like Byron Jones. Oh, but what about Sean Lee? Did you see C.J. Anderson running through Sean Lee? Yeah. I thought he played his guts out like he always does. I did. No. I did. He and Dak, they, they gave all they had to give. No, stop doing that, Skip. Yeah. Dak threw two picks. And whose fault were they? Dak. You, you said that they were both Dezes. Dak. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah the, the first one is really oh, Dak's fault. Whose resume do they go on? Well, that's unfortunately the truth. They're okay yeah. then. Yeah. So he threw the ball. Yeah. Throw it better. Hit so, it in the chest. Put so you got Atlanta as your best team? Go ahead. I got Say it. I got Cowboys as 15. Yeah. Do you think, is Atlanta the best team in football now? Should they be ranked number one? No. Kansas City, should, okay. Kansas City has the most. Best team in the NFC is? Is that the Falcons? Okay. So, right now the Falcons are either one or two in all these power rankings. And, and I look at what the Falcons have done so far. Do you realize in game number one, it wasn't that long ago. It's just like a week ago. Yeah. They went to Chicago. And this is the same Bears team who last Sunday went to Tampa Bay and was behind 29 to nothing and lost 29 to seven. Yeah. So, Atlanta goes to Chicago for game number one. They survived 23 to 17 after Mike Glennon and company have first and goal at the five with 28 seconds left, and Glennon throws two balls that should have been caught for touchdowns. Can we see those two? The first one is to Josh Bellamy, and, and it was a really nice throw by Mike Glennon. Here it is. Hits him right in the hands, and he drops it. That's all. It's game over. Atlanta loses the game, and he drops it. That wasn't an easy catch. Okay, it wasn't an easy catch, but he should have made the catch. But this is an easy catch. Can we go to number two now? This is Jordan Howard at the goal line, and he dropped it. He's going to back in for the game-winning touchdown. Hits him right in the hands, and he drops it. I'm not sure he would have gotten in, but it would have been real close. It hits him right in the hands. This is game over because Matt Ryan's not going to have any time left to do anything. Then there's an incomplete on third down, and he got sacked on fourth down, and they survived. And that's your team that's best in the NFC? Are you kidding me? Sometimes, sometimes you have to find ways to win as opposed to finding ways to lose. Yep. Now, you have been a Cowboy fan all these years. Yeah. You Can you count? Do you have enough fingers and toes to count the ways you guys have lost? Mm. Remember Tony Romo bobbled that snap? Remember Tony Romo threw that pick? Mm -hmm. You remember Tony Romo and Dez dropped that ball? How many different ways, Skip? I can go on and on. I can keep on busting you up. 
you know, you're really busting me up just the way Atlanta really busted up Green Bay. That defense is no better than it was last year. And on but Sunday night. But what about night, your defense, Okay, yeah. but we're talking about Atlanta that you said is clearly the best team they in the are. NFC. And, and I saw the Atlanta Falcons against the Green Bay defense on Sunday night in their new home. They rang up a grand total of 364 yards. That's not impressive because Brett, I mean, Brett, Aaron Rodgers had 367. So he had more yards than Matt Ryan did, total yards. But really? Could Green Bay run the ball like Atlanta could? Did you see what Tevin Coleman, did you see what Devontae Freeman Did you see Freeman what Atlanta do? did last year in the NFC Championship game when they hung 44 on them with 493 total yards, 10 of 13 on third your down, team been, 30 first down? Had your team done taking care of business, mm. they could have had the NFC Championship game in their building. And they would have won that. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, they didn't take care of business. Mason Why? Crossbar took care of Don't business. Do they, yeah. Well, was, you, you know it was. Those are two luckiest playoff field goals I've ever well, seen. Well, give, Benetieri, 56 and well, give Benetieri the same amount of credit then. He, he kicks Man, them right down You the don't even believe this. Yeah. Well, you think the Seahawks should be should be ranked? The Seahawks, the Panthers, to beat the 49ers and beat the Bills 9-3. to three. believe this. The Titans. So you believe the Giants are that much better than the Browns? The, I, the Ravens beat the Browns and the Bengals? Yeah. The Bengals haven't scored a touchdown yet this season. The Giants, have, the Giants got one. <laughs> mm. Giants oh. got one. <laughs> You're just being a cowboy. Team, you don't even believe that. My team is. This in is the time for Kevin Durant to stay off social media. We'll discuss that next.